This is the famous infinite money glitch, where a company creates a hypothetical token called FTT. They could then, after magically printing this magic money out of nowhere, give it artificial value by giving it a use case, a utility, and then buying up a majority of its supply and then burning the rest to increase its value. Now, after this token, gets valuable, they could then hypothetically and allegedly send these tokens to their sister company, Alameda Research, where they could then show on their balance sheet potentially actual profits and actual value, where they would then leverage that balance sheet and borrow against it, and they would borrow other assets other stable coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it is. After borrowing these assets, they could then send all of those cryptos back to FTX. And doing this, you have created the infinite money glitch where you could print as much money as you want. This could help explain how the value of FTT's tokens had such a huge effect on FTX's ability to liquidate. Because this strategy works until it doesn't.